Today is our wedding anniversary and five months short of 30 years together. Uh, what do you call this plant? <laughs> this is his favorite plant. And so this is not for Sadi, but I'm going to bring it somewhere to sun up because it was in the shade. Hang on, I'll put it first here. I am going to grow you so that every time I see you, I will smile. As a happy thought, <laughs> every anniversary we have, we don't buy anything or celebrate anything. The last few years since I got into succulents, he would encourage me to buy succulents on our anniversary. So, Yesterday, I already did. I bought some succulents. Yes, and that would actually be a good plant haul. So some very special succulents I bought. I haven't bought succulents for a long time. But anyway, this Ionium here, after cutting it for only two days, and look what happened. All these new pups started showing. Look, even, do you have some underneath? Yep, there is. Look at that. So it's best to chop, chop, chop them up. And I still have a couple that I need to chop up. I will get back to that later on, but look at this, all these babies as well here. Look at that, growing. So what's your name? <laughs> Greg Garnet. I am uh, going to, actually, I already chopped this off. I thought I was going to cut this up, but it's not uh, King Kong. This is Black King Kong. And since I'm standing here, I might as well look at this cacti collection that I have. I have now decided I am going to take most of my cacti collection indoors. That's what I'm going to grow indoors because they actually don't like the frost that much. Hang on, this one here. There's some big growing cacti that do like the frost or they don't like the frost. Nobody likes the frost. They don't mind it, but they do suffer. And hang on, this this funny thing here. Oh, look, uh, I need to water them. Skiscobasis. Is that schizobasis? <laughs> Intricata. I know because I've got a label there. Anyway, schizobasis, intricata, is all growing. It's like little onion. We say onion. Well, not we do say onion, but a lot of people here in Australia would say onion. I don't know why, but why is it hard to say onion? And look how pretty this onion is here. Are you an onion? This Mammillaria bocosana monstros and it's growing and it's light. So I need to water this one. And a few of them, look, even my Lactea variegata over there, Euphobia, that was actually hit by the frost. It's a variegated one. And look, those white things there, it's not variegated. It, that was got smashed by the frost when I had it a bit more exposed. And then I just put it there now. But anyway, these are a few of my favorite things, but... Oh, look at this. Look at that elephant's foot. It's starting to show some elephant foot. And this one, I actually bought this a few years ago on my birthday. And I've done a plant haul where in hubby was sitting there <laughs> listening to me. And I was showing him this elephant's foot. And he's not really excited about it. But I showed him the photo before I bought it. And he was so excited. He says, get it. And when I bought it, He's not really into it. He says, hmm. <laughs> that's all he said. But anyway, so now I'm sure he can see this now. And look, well, that's beautiful, isn't it? So you like those cracking of uh, <laughs> the the bulb, the, what do you call it? The codex. There you go. Or the bulby thing. Yeah, so the codex. Anyway, so he likes weird stuff. And that's why he married me. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm just laughing about it because all these uh, fun memories. And anyway, this one now are cuttings that I've taken. Isn't that beautiful? It's so compact, that purple delight. Are you purple delight? I think so. Can't remember now. <laughs> but so many plants. And oh, do you have roots? Yes. This actually needs to be taken outside. And this one here, oh. That one rotted. My poor Lila Cena. Oh, look, there's a cactus that's already dead. We get rid of that. Uh, Astropitum, I think. I'll get rid of that. Okay. So this Lila Cena, I just put you there. You really have to be soaked. And I got some, I think this is uh, monodenium something. Are you monodenium? I don't know. Yeah, it is from the back there. So I took some cuttings from that monodenium there because it was leaning over. So hang on. Yes, this one. Oh, look, see, it's rotting. That's why 
I need to remove that. I need to chop that off, okay? Because that's no good. That got hit by the frost outside. I'll leave you there like that. And also, oh gosh, yes. This is my last Echeveria Cante. So this was actually huge. I had this planted at the front. It was beautiful. I got about, I think, three or four Cante before, but... There was years where in they were good, and there was years where in they got smashed by the frost. And this one is the last one that I placed at the front. And eventually, of course, this is what's left of it. I'm going to try and revive it. And I don't know if I still have a baby Kante somewhere, but anyway, because I did grow one or two from leaves. But that was a long time ago. And, and look, more Manadenium Ellenbeckii growing here. This one actually, I protected this from the frost, so that's why all those babies, look at that. Look at the stem. When I bought this, this is actually quite cheap. How much were you? $4 a stem. That's what it cost me. So the 11th, 23, so November last year, almost a year now. Since I got, oh sorry, since I got that one, that was actually my last plant haul. I bought a whole heap of cactus. And this one, I forgot your name. Are you Peperomia? or crassula i think you're peperomia anyway oh so gorgeous look at that oh gosh look at that how beautiful that is but anyway i got excited again look ah oh, hello it's you what is your name i don't know you lost your label i think there is in the back oh look another are you variegated no peach frost this is not variegated i'll leave you there are those things actually peach frost i'm wondering now oh yes it is <gasps> this is peach frost. Oh my goodness. See, I thought it's, um, look, there's little babies. So I think, oh, look, babies. Yes. Yes, little pimples. And look, there's another uh, little white head over there. But anyway, this one now, peach frost. Oh, sorry. Thank you. It's a good thing. You must have a label somewhere. Yeah, so that's why I put it above so I don't forget. <laughs> And now I forgot. But anyway, so this one now, I need to water this. Peach frost. And then this one is enormous or something. This is. No, it's not. It's Tenocactus multicostatus enormous. It is enormous. Ah, there you go. So this one as well, I tried to protect this from the frost. And how much are you? $15. So that's not so uh, eleven twenty three. So it's not too painful. So I'm going to take all my cacti and bring it inside. Should I say all oh, my cactus? Oh, look, this one. Oh, that one's okay. That one. Are you? Oh, yes. No, they got hit by the frost. They're soft. But they're still trying to grow. I think I could still cut that. Hang on. I'll take you out. This is all this frost. I hate the frost. This is $12 for a three in a pot. So it grows to about two meters tall. So this is fireworks. Ionium. And also Chanel that I have to soak for a couple of days because they were really dry. But then now, I am going to chop this off. Now, this one here now, this got attacked by mealy bug. Okay, I'm just gonna wing it. I'm terrible, terrible. Do it properly, woman. No, hang on. There you go, done it. I already sprayed this with my metho, and you can see all that mealy bug there. So, now, look, see? There's still a live one. So, okay. Now I could just have to clean that up and then remove a couple of the heads here. Now you got nowhere to go now, Millie Bug. There you go. So now new ones hopefully will pop out of there. So I leave those three there. I better take this one over here. See, that's better. On the grass. I got five heads. We're going to take the tallest one. The greener, the better, because I find, oops, oopsie, that if you cut it too low on the stem, they're too old and they don't grow. Now, are you coming in here? Okay. I don't like, oh, never mind. I'm getting carried away now. Okay, there. Done. I'll leave two and I'll take three. Oh, these beautiful fireworks. Actually, this one, I bought them all already like that, if I can remember correctly. Yes, five head for $50, so it works out like $10 each. I'm going to put you here for now to dry up. I will come back to you later on and put you up. You can go kissy-kissy. <laughs> okay, so normally for anniversary, we don't go out and eat out. 
because I don't really like <laughs> going out and eating out. I'm inside. I brought this inside because I am going to forget. So I thought I'd better put it with the rest of the gang here because this one, this is Blushing Beauty. And it was nice and thick before. And then so last night, as I was watching some Chinese... <laughs> Chinese drama. Do you say C drama then? If it's Chinese drama, you have Korean as K drama. So Chinese drama, so C drama. But hang on, I need to write this down. This is, what's your name now? See, I forgot. Chanel. Chanel. You can stay there and hopefully it will grow. Now, I'll put you there. You can, I can still clean it up later on. But anyway, now imagine all these heads now. If I plant this, every single one of them uh, will grow into big cluster. Because this is actually not a big plant. It was, well, I bought it with the label Blushing Beauty. But it's smaller than my Blushing Beauty. Because I got a Blushing Beauty and they're quite big. And this one are actually small. So maybe it's a smaller version and that's why I want to propagate them. But also, it's semi-frost hardy because I had it growing outside. And it did not die from the frost. So that's a plus. My plants are like exploding at the moment because I've taken lots and lots of cuttings. But this caviar here, you can see, look, it's like little grapes on the stem. Isn't that gorgeous? But that bothers me, the stem up the top. So that's already dead. It's dead stump. It's not going to do anything. Also, this one here, we just chop it off. It'll be better for the plants, plus it's going to look better. And then that one's ugly too, so I don't like that. Okay, there you go, we chop it off. Anything that sort of looks ugly and dead, we chop off. Anyway, oh, look, Opalina Monstros, look how cute you are. Oh, hang on, down here too. <gasps> I haven't, I haven't inspected this for a long time. So Lavender Pebble, look how fat you are oh my goodness chubby 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 and speaking of lavender pebbles that's chubby i just saw my original one behind me this is my mummy lavender pebbles that i had for a long time this is the original one which i got the seed from and then now this mummy look nice and fat but i'm sorry mummy hang on chop it okay i'll put that one there and this ones look how chubby that is oh my god it's just so fat it's just gorging itself it's like really really fat but it's quite long so i don't like that i'm gonna cut the baby this is actually grown from leaf from this mummy one here so anyway hang on excuse me there you go Ooh, little fat so little fat so look at you oh, little fat so oh my goodness that's what i used to say to pedro hello fat so this is so fat but anyway i'm gonna go look for more victim speaking of which yes this one here there was one that was broken off before by a bird, I think. Yep, that one. I just found that on the ground. It's already dried up, so I need to take this and bring this inside. Who's up for a chop, chop, chop? And look, this one, as much as I don't want to cut this up, but you can see that it's getting really bad. But the this is my Elaine Wright. And it's not right to just leave this poor plant like this, where the other plants are just exploding around it. I was meant to do a crested video of how to take cuttings of crested video, but I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm just going to do this now. <laughs> when you take cuttings of crested things, you normally uh, take the young ones don't take the old stem because the old stems even that i still have to cut that okay can you see that you say normally oh you just chop it off and then stick it in the ground in the case of this one i'm gonna cut it a little bit lower so there's no black thingy okay i'll take this one over there and then that one too but i'll deal with that later on i'll come back to that one so oh, even that so you can see that okay i'll take that hang on i got no baskets or anything but I just look there's babies growing in it but look I'll say I've already knocked it because that's not going to grow that's just going to die and oops it's even worse I told you even worse you're planting something that's dead it's not going to grow of course so you can see the translucency there so that's the area that's been affected so if I chop that little thing there that tiny bit there and then this one here and then that one there then I still get one two three plants now if I stick this in the ground the plant is going to try and heal itself and grow roots on the dead tip 
which is going to take a long time. And eventually it will decide that I'm already dead. I can't grow anymore because it's feeding off that part there. So if you plant something that's already dead, it's not going to grow. It's best to just cut fresh cut over here. So and I'll do that with one hand. Okay, so cut one. So even that tiny little bit there, that will still have a chance to grow. But if you left it, oh, okay, hang on. You can see that that already, see, you can see that? The little pinky thing, that's actually the fresh ones now, but uh, look, pink. It's sort of still healthy-ish, but had I left it there, just on that own there, that would just die. And then this one now, waste not, want not, because there's a tiny, oh no, we throw it away. I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm trying to save every stem is alive. Okay, now this one, I'll chop that off to there. And then that way, this one can start anew, start fresh again. So I'll have a one, two, three, maybe. What if I'll just take this one and then I'll drop it in here that already... I did not prepare this earlier, it's just sitting here because I planted that thing there and I'm meant to clean the uh, blue dragon but anyway you can just sit there and if you really really want to you can crawl in there and root up. Check out those poor babies here that I bought in November as well. All different cactus so I still don't know their name. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, they're still tiny. Look, you want to see the tiny finger? See? <laughs> it's almost as big as my thumb. Now, oh, look, I've got a dead one. What is your name? Stenocactus grisium. Okay. Well, that's not too bad considering, look, all of these ones here, Astropythum are alive, alive, alive. But it's going to take a long time before these things grow. But for the meantime, I am going to leave you here and let you enjoy the shade. So that's in the shade. So anyway, guys, that's all I've got for this video. I'm going to say bye-bye for now. But before I go, I just want to show you this bird that I bought. I bought a bird. Yes, I bought a bird. It's called a robin monstros. Look at that. And where's the little hooky thing? Look. Look. It's got a little claw. Hi, how cute are you? Nice and chubby. I don't have a robin, by the way. And so I'm so lucky to have found a robin. And from the monstros one, we can actually grow a normal one from this, I think. So anyway, that's all I've got for you guys. And adieu, 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 adieu. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to go inside now and maybe have something to eat. Like a KFC, keeps you fat and cuddly. <laughs>